We're speaking with Klaus Moldner, a professor of agriculture and applied economics in the Virginia Tech College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Professor Moldner, what is the most important thing we learn from your research into school breakfast lunch programs? Yes, thank you. Uh, so our study is the first that examines directly if allowing for extra time to eat breakfast in the morning in a standard cafeteria setting could increase participation, which has traditionally been very low for the school breakfast program, relatively low. And indeed, we do find that just giving an extra 10 minutes, uh, that increases participation by a healthy 20 to 25 percent. Now, then moving into the classroom, uh, the, which our students did in the following year, uh, leads to almost full participation, but might be financially infeasible for a lot of schools, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. What more can you tell us about what was learned about student breakfast consumption habits? Uh, so, um, we benefited from uh, for the perfect natural experiment in the sense that in the first year we studied these kids, they were eating breakfast in the cafeteria, uh, so we let, let them do that for a while, then we added 10 minutes for two weeks, and then this allowed us to study the pure impact of adding those 10 minutes. And then in the second year, the entire school moved breakfast to the classroom, which is a, also a very common way to implement breakfast if you can afford it. And I'll come back to that later. So what we find is that um, moving breakfast to the classroom increases participation to almost 100%. So certainly, if you just want everybody to eat breakfast, that's the best way to go if you can afford it. Uh, moving to the, uh, giving them extra time, you know, gives you a nice boost of 20 to 25 percent. Um, most importantly, so before we added the extra time, there were students in our sample, two to four percent at each school, that did not eat breakfast at home because we captured that information and did simply not have time to consume breakfast at school because they arrived too late for breakfast. And so that segment is perfectly taken care of by adding the extra time. So there is no more student that goes hungry until lunch, basically. Uh, so in terms of participation, that's what we learned. In terms of nutritional intake, how much did they eat or what they ate, um, just purely uh, counting calories, we do not find a significant change for the average student uh, from adding the time or moving it to the classroom. So calorie intake is about the same. Um, nutritional composition, we have yet to take a closer look at that. All right. So what would you like to see happen? In what ways can school systems best use this information yeah. from this research? So generally, uh, until schools get innovative and creative in finding additional funding for breakfast, currently the way it works is for each breakfast served, a school receives a government subsidy. Uh, for each fully subsidized student, uh, and the subsidy is a little bit larger than the cost of breakfast. So there's an uh, extra margin of money that the school can then use, in theory, to subsidize additional students. Okay? Now, <clears throat> if you move to the classroom, uh, virtually every school that does that, that, to my knowledge, you also have to serve breakfast for free because the accounting and the process of collecting money and taking track of all that becomes too cumbersome. Uh, for the time being. So unless that means, unless you're in a school that already has a very large percentage of subsidized students, like our schools in Nevada, 80, 90 percent fully subsidized students, you simply cannot afford to give breakfast for free to everybody, which means you cannot, it makes no sense to go to the classroom, right? So if you're a school with, um, say, you know, 20, 30, 50 percent of subsidized students, uh, which might be typical around the country, um, the best potentially lowest cost way to, add, to increase participation is to give them extra time in the cafeteria. All right. Professor Mulder from the Virginia Tech College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, thank you very much. Thank you.